everyone in this video we are going to discuss this example using epsilon delta definition of limit we have to prove that limit z tends to 0 z bar square divided by z is equal to 0 so let us start with the given information the most important thing is our function so our function is z bar square by z let me write here we have the function is f of z is equal to z bar square by z so we have to prove that thing using epsilon delta definition. So it means we have to take one epsilon first. Let epsilon greater than zero be given. Okay. So by epsilon delta definition of limit, we have to find delta, which will work for this definition. That means which will satisfy the definition of limit. So let me mention here, therefore, we have to find delta greater than zero such that getting so our task is to find delta which will satisfy the definition the definition says zero less than mod z minus here z tends to zero so that's why i should write mod z minus zero less than delta implies mod f of z minus what is the limiting value zero so i should write zero less than epsilon Okay, so that means for above epsilon, for the given epsilon, our task is to find delta, which will satisfy this condition. Let us simplify it further. So zero less than, you know that z minus zero is z less than delta mod f of z minus zero is f of z less than epsilon. Okay, so we have to prove this condition holds. Okay, that means we have to find delta, which will satisfy this condition. So let us find the value of this mod f of z first and then we will find delta. Consider mod f of z. What is our f of z? z bar square divided by z. So there, there are several properties of mod. If you have division, definitely you can take separate, separate mods. If you have multiplication also, then we can take separate mods. So that's why because of those properties of mod, we can write mod z bar square divided by mod z okay so let us use this space to write remaining part of this problem okay so because of properties of mod we could take separate separate mods mod z bar is nothing but mod z so let me write here so this is equal to mod z square divided by mod z the reason is that mod z bar is same as mod z okay so what will happen mod z mod z will get cancelled so the final value is simply mod z getting so we simplified uh, this mod f of z and we got its value simply mod z so now we have to find delta therefore we choose delta is equal to so will you guess the what will be the value of delta any idea you have no i also don't know so i will keep it blank i will go further getting let us see what will happen so here we supposed to choose delta, but we are not getting what should be delta. I am keeping it blank and I'm going further. So this condition should satisfy. Okay. So let us start with this one. Then zero less than mod z less than delta implies. Okay. Implies this mod f of z should be less than epsilon mod f of z. But see, we have already calculated the value of mod f of z, which is mod z let me write here mod z but already we have stated that mod z is less than delta mod z is less than delta but actually what we want we want mod f of z should be less than epsilon what we are getting mod f of z less than delta we want less than epsilon and we are getting less than delta so my choice of delta will be epsilon since both are positive real numbers small positive real numbers so my delta I'm choosing at epsilon. Okay, so that's why you can here also you can write more delta is equal to epsilon. So therefore, well, finally, what we get zero less than mod z less than delta implies mod f of z. What we got it is less than epsilon. So this condition is satisfied. So the definition is satisfied. Therefore, we can say therefore limit of this f of z is zero. So let me mention. So therefore limit z tends to zero f of z is zero that is we can write the value of f of z here which is 
z bar square upon z is equal to 0. So in this way, we proved this thing using epsilon delta definition of limit. Make a screenshot of it, then we will stop. Thank you. See you.